this is the before and check this out fire fire <laughs> You can just open this flap. All our 24 volt switches. Turn them on. In the fire truck. Let's go. This. I'm a bit right. Eh. Hey. Oh, it's just opposite. What is this? Cool. Cool, right? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> What's up for you? You can talk on the radio. Attention engine 203. Respond to subscription request. Subscribe to Vehicles now. Over and out. As you can see right now, lights are on. So lights are on. Test. Next. What? Buddha Ingsen. That's right. <laughs> Just press this button, you see, turn the radios on. These are the exact lights that we have in the back. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of V-Builds. This is going to be an interesting one. You see this fire truck behind me. We are going to modify the complete interior of this fire truck. Let me show you what's the condition right now. Right now, you see these things, the display, these buttons, these, uh, these controllers and these controllers for the fire hydrant in front. These are all messed up. So we are going to make a beautiful con console right here in the center and we will install everything one two three four and additional few more things on that console so it will look like a cockpit and it's gonna look so mad i'm really excited for this one hope it turns out good because we have so many cool gadgets and accessories i'll show you one by one and then we install it this is a 24 volt to 12 volt converter this right here is a fuse for 60 amperes this one is a you know power socket then joystick this is gonna control this hose and then after that we have some led lights to make it look all beautiful these are some magnets for the cabinet on off switches pretty ones this one you can see it has a inverter so you can connect your home appliance right there some switches for fan and their socket these are some pneumatic uh, hydraulics what do you call it i don't know we also have two fans and this is how the switches look pretty right and yeah this here is a black leather sticker which is gonna be the you know top of the unit so it looks something like this then our normal screws and all the tools so let's begin now all this wood and the material this is gonna make the base the frame of our console and luckily i found this frame which is the exact size that we need so this is what we are going to use for the frame of it and we install everything on top of it but it has these uh, nails i'm just going to cut them quickly so this is gonna sit here the console and that wood is gonna make the surface on which we are gonna install everything so the length from here to here is approximately three feet so goes here and then this goes on the top just like that so we'll have a complete console and from the end of it we can open it like this that's the plan 
now we have the size of the console so we need to figure out where to place all this here is the layout this is going to be a screen for reverse parking the on off switch for the whole panel this is the circuit breaker that will be the battery indicator and the switch for that radio switch these are the flashlights and the beacons and multi-purpose switches this is power socket this joystick will control the front fire hose fan for the pilot fan for the co-pilot and then these can be used by the passengers for home appliances maybe charge their phones and again multi-purpose switches now i'm going to install two hinges right there so that can open it and keep some stuff inside after making the notches the hinge fit kind of perfect you see there's very less space left on both sides okay and our hinge is installed that's it now close it this is perfect now now we install this pneumatic unit for which this one goes here and this can just lock inside this ball and the other one this one goes here so we'll make the markings and install it they pull out this pin and push it in and leave it that's how yeah correct install okay. just push in only Try open. Okay, not like this. Like this. Yeah. Close. And then open. Yep. Close. <laughs> we install one magnet here. So that will hold it in place like this. Right? Here are the magnets. Let's put them on. So now we have placed this double sided tape so when we close it, it will stick to that and we know where to make the holes, right? Keep it in the center from both sides, right? right. Okay, like that. Okay, go down. Okay. Cool, man. There. Right? Okay. There we have it, the magnets are on. Now close it, let's see if it opens or not. Awesome man, leave it. Awesome. Doesn't open right? Cool. Okay, if I, we're gonna test it yeah. in the fire truck, let's go. The goggles. Now it goes in here like this. Oh, perfect. And then you can open it. Oh, good enough man. Show from the side. Good, good enough space you can put your stuff in here do whatever and then just close it perfect yeah number two so we have to take off everything now layout these two go here so we start by installing these two first okay okay it's from below try this Got one perfect. Awesome. Cool. Thing off and then cut it, cut the sides. So this is what we are left with and later we are gonna paint it and make it look a bit better, but we can install it now.
we have assembled it already now we can just put it back in and come on come on yay next up is this switchboard and because of this there will be a slight change of layout because there was supposed to be a joystick here but then turns out it will be too rare from the driver seat hard to reach so that's why i will install this here and the joystick can go somewhere around here Just took out this pin and this holder and spring comes out and you can just pull the joystick out like this. Cool. So here we have it. Now we just need to make a, a hole of this size and we can install the joystick. Easy. Okay. All right. Done for today. Wait. Okay, this is a day's work and we are done for today. The joystick installed. This one, this one, this one. And tomorrow we proceed with the rest of it. Now it's time to install these two. Okay, the pl initial plan was to install them here. But as you move along, the plan changes. So let's see now. Because I think the height won't be enough. So I have to measure the height. If it's enough, then good. Otherwise, I have to install them here. These two are stuck using glue gun. Huh, kind of hard to take it off, but now it's almost done. For these, I'll open this outer frame uh, and then this one goes on top and the rest of the things will be hidden inside. So let's open this for the markings. So here, the frames are separate from the boxes. I can use this for the markings. This is what the position gonna be like and we do not have a lot of margin on this because uh, this side is very thin unlike the other panel it has like one centimeter margin so we'll have to be very precise while cutting it. Next is the screen. I have already disconnected it and right there. Let's disconnect those. One, this is power cable and two, this is camera input. Now this is the plan. I'm going to keep the screen tilted a bit so that it has better visibility for the driver. And so I'll take the markings like this diagonal here and just install it like that. <laughs> fitting almost perfectly okay with everything coming together slight change of plans again this is how it is gonna look later okay let's install all Hot. 
done. Oh, this one goes in here like this. Done. So the switch can fit now. Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It. Okay, next are uh, these two switches. All the cuts are done and everything fits in nicely. So I've kept all stuff there so that I don't destroy it. It still looks new. And let's go and try to fit it in the fire truck. Come. Come. If I. Yo! Warrior, let's go. <laughs> The console goes here. Now we need to make sure it is level. So we use this. Keep it here. I want to keep it to this level. Now we need to raise the height of the platform so that you know, it's leveled with the dashboard as I just showed you. Now I have made this gun, <laughs> this structure which is supposed to sit under the dashboard and support it to keep it level. I had to fine tune it three, four times, but now this is the final piece. Now, if you notice from the change of my clothes, this is day four and this is the piece that we created last time. Now it goes here, uh, you see these holes, one and two. So this piece goes here like this. So I have marked the holes where it is supposed to be one and two. Let's drill them. screws are installed kind of perfect so i have the smaller screws i'll install them later but for now just for measurements this is good and quite stable let's bring on the console <laughs> install that screw right there and here it is parallel to this so now i can mark on this part and then I can cut it accordingly. The left side level is perfect. Right side also level perfect. But when we put it horizontally, you see that side is a bit higher. So we need to fix that a little more down from that side and we should be good. Console is fitting perfectly and next thing is to cover up this area for which I am going to make a template using this. First we make the template and we cut in a cardboard. But this cardboard I have made the frame and I will cut it from here. So this is how I am going to cut the hardwood now. This is on the left side and I have done the same on the right side as well. Let me show you quickly there right side goes a bit easier so yeah both sides and now let's cut the hardboard
Now we have the raw three pieces and we just need to finalize them. Let's test fit. Check this out. Looks so pretty. This side fits perfectly. And the other side. Tuck, 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 tuck. Again. Here. Other side also perfect. So the next step is first we cover this with leather and then we install all the modules and then we make the connections. I have this leather as I've shown you before. Now we are gonna put it on and make this look pretty. Check this out. This is how bright and shiny it's gonna look. Let's do it. There it is, the top part is wrapped and I'm done for today. We'll start installing the components tomorrow. See you. This is day five, let's install all the accessories. Now check out these covers, this is what I'm going to use to cover the screws so that it doesn't look bad. It goes in like this and then you can just close it, it'll look pretty, let me install it. Check this out, no screws visible, looking pretty awesome, let's move on to the next one. joystick take out this pin and pull this out and then install it from below and put it up <laughs> that's how we are gonna do it next up is this need to open all and install it So I learned a new technique just now. Radio, okay. To install the switches, there's not enough space on the sides to push it down, so I use this one on the right and another one on the left, okay. Just like that. And push, push. There you go. <laughs> Easy. So this voltmeter is pretty worn out so I'll mask it and paint the outer rim so that it looks new like the other components. Now let's make two holes for the two main switches, 124 volts and 112 volts. These holes need to be precise so that the buttons can just screw in these holes and we do not have to make additional efforts to install them. And also they are snug and don't move left and right.
Now let's put on the backlight module and the radios. These are the ones that I'm most worried about because for these the <coughs> the cutout has to be perfect because if it is too loose they won't stay in place and then I'll have to make something else to you know hold them in place uh, some bracket or something but if they are too tight I can fit the module so quite tricky but luckily they fit in perfectly. And here is the last one and we'll be done. Whoa, it is looking so pretty man, so happy. <laughs> now let's wrap up the sides as well. Let up for the sides. <laughs> a little so this was supposed to be the left side and this is the outside and this is the inside so i cut it according to inside cannot install it here but you know it's not so bad i can use this for the right side instead so i will use it here now ah cool not bad thank you so we need to be careful while measuring <laughs> Two side pieces are ready and the console is also ready so now we can just go and install it in the fire truck this piece goes here like this is on for now it sits here and it is pulling it back here now let's put the sides first Okay. Okay. Bye. See you. And then finally, I have provided some extra support. You see these clips on the left and right, and these uh, pieces of wood which are gonna support it, not let it fall down. And then it's quite sturdy to open and close when you close it this is how you look i mean it looks that goes in perfectly and you see it looks fabulous wow let me finish the wirings i'll do it in time lapse and explain it to you later now these four switches are you know to move the hose up and down let me show you yes. Switch. Mm -hmm. So this one is up. Yeah, going up. Yeah, it moved. Yes. Yeah, moved up, up, up. Okay. Okay, okay moving left and right. Oh, 
so now that's what we need to transfer from here to the joystick so i am going to transfer all these connections to the joysticks let's do so i have installed the inverter here what it does is this is 24 volt coming to the in uh, uh, this uh, inverter it will convert it to 12 volts actually it is giving 14 volts but it should be fine because once we connect the components it will drop a bit and then this 24 volt will also go to the joystick okay most exciting one time to test the joystick ha <laughs> ha let's see Turn it on. It's on and now what? Yay, it's moving. Awesome. Let me show you. Oh man, I cannot cover both. Oh maybe I can. Like this. Here's the joystick. I move it right. Eh. Oh, it's just opposite. I have to fix that. But that's a quick fix. Forward, backward. Woohoo! Oh, this is cool. Cool, right? Yeah. Yay! Thumbs yeah. <laughs> up for you. Thank you. <laughs> good job, good job. Great job. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the reverse camera is working as well. Cool. So let's connect these. One goes here. I am just referring the pictures that we had. Okay, now we have made the connections. Let's test them first. This one. So this is the traffic advisor. We switch it on high. You can see the speaker here. Yeah. Means the back light is fading away. Okay, okay, let's see. This is the light we are talking about. That's working. Nice. And next. Next. Next on is uh, the siren. Uh -huh. Siren is on here. As you can see right now. Lights are on. So lights are on. Test. Next. So we have one fan installed for the co-pilot Leonard and then this will be operated using this. So let me make the connections quickly. What? Buddha Insum. Buddha Insum. <laughs> connections for the fan. The wire goes in there and comes out from here. Now is the time to put the fan in. Luckily I can use the holes that are already in the dashboard so I don't have to make new ones. Maybe just one. And just like that, I will screw it in. Connections for the fans are made and these are the two wires. Let me try my luck. It's a 50-50 chance I'll connect it properly. But you know, my luck always against me. So let's see. Fan on. And yay! <laughs> First time I'm lucky. So left one on the left and the right one goes there. Let's try the left fan. Works off and the right fan aside <laughs> okay, it works. this looks pretty bad so let's just cover it up as well so i'm gonna use this piece of wood measure it and cut it and put it here let's try Oh wow, perfect. So these small pieces of wood or plywood I should say. These are what I'm going to use to organize the wires. For the inside let's put it on so it will do two things hide the wires and make this space available for storage
install the module as well next up is we have to make the labels for all of these so that you know a new person knows how to operate it so here is the label maker it comes with these tapes which makes the label so i'm gonna start with a red one v press it v u i l d s you see we have v bills right there aha uh -huh. let's make all the labels first then we cut it and paste over there now just peel it off easy as that it's just a tape there you go this is 24 volts main so some stickers uh, which i will use based on the functions i can just put them on and it will light up the name and with that we are done check this out here on the left side i covered this and this one as well they look pretty bad so i just wrapped it and covered it in leather This is the passenger side there's a mirror which is adjust uh, <laughs> mirror <laughs> there's a fan which is adjustable side and up down look at the labels they look so pretty and make this console look so colorful so i have the back camera turn off after use 24 volt 12 volt mains here's the fuse voltmeter backlights then on off uh, the radios on off voltmeter socket and usb our joystick and other 12 volt and 24 volt components there's another warning here for low power equipments only so that's how it looks quite nice i am quite impressed by myself <laughs> okay uh, when you open it let me open it for you you can just open this flap and these pneumatic arms help you to you know lift it up and it won't feel so heavy and then there is some storage inside here you can put your phone here and this tray right there and even you can store some big stuff right there and then down it goes quite snug you can just close it like that now let me turn it on and show you how everything looks neutral ta 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 and on Okay, truck is on. So when you turn on the back camera comes on by default because you know it doesn't have a rear view mirror. It does have, but it doesn't work because of a lot of the the water tank and lot of blockage at the back. So the camera is on always on. You can see what's behind you. Now to begin with you need to turn on the 24 volt. As soon as you turn on the 24 volt, wow, the fans are already on and I'm so happy. Wow. It's, it's a bit hot inside here. So I can turn off the passenger side fan. There you go. So this is for the driver. So you can turn it off and on again. I'll keep it on for now. This is for 24 volts. See these all switches are also for 24 volts. Anything which needs 24 volts will be connected through these switches. And when you turn on, turn it on, it turns on the lights of the switches. You can turn it off, turn it on, right there. Okay. Next. This switch is for 12 volt. So when you turn this one on, you see this panel lights up. This is for everything which is 12 volts. I'll go over these one by one. Before that, this right here is a fuse. So let's say uh, the current is too high, this fuse will pop, and you can also manually pop pop it. So you just press this button. You see the fuse pop. Everything stop. Nothing is working now. You pop it back in, and everything is back alive. The fan is on. all the things are working now now this uh, obviously it has the usb and the power socket this is turned on by this 12 volt the first switch which says usb socket so when you press it the light comes up and the these panels are on 
next is the strobe lights uh, when you turn this on there are lights outside which will turn on so if you can see the reflection right there see the lights are on there's blue on the left and red on the right i'll also show you from outside but meanwhile you can just check this out lights are on and you can turn it off like that another uh, this power socket also i show you already next is this voltmeter so when you turn it on it will show you the voltage of the batteries and you can know if your batteries are in good conditions or not it it goes up quite slowly but it does work you can turn it off next this button right here is for the radio so when you turn the radios on you see the light comes up and these radio come to power you press it and you see it's on so depending on which uh, which you put it on it will make the sound so let me play it for you just like that you can play sounds and you can even talk on the radios i've moved this holder on the right so you can talk on the radio so i moved this to radio attention engine 2 or 3 respond to subscription request subscribe to vapors now over and out next is these are for the back light so when you turn it on let's say low and there are different modes that you can select these are the exact lights that we have in the back and i will show you and this is how they are blinking as well so right now this pattern is going on if you put it on right so it will go from right to left and then left to right like that and flash we mostly keep it on flash and and that's it this is how the back lights work i will show you next up is this joystick i will show you from a previous video because it is raining outside and i cannot or maybe i can see it but you know i have installed this extra switch so in case it says here water pressure if you want to operate the joystick you have to turn this on first if you turn it off and you try to operate it it doesn't work see but now when i turn it on and operate it using the joystick maybe you can see the yeah right there it moves so that's how you operate this you can turn it off now this switch is for all this panel so in case you want to uh, use your home appliances tv washing machine fridge you just uh, plug it in here and then turn this on from here if you turn it off it will not work now the third switch on this is for cockpit lights which are right there we haven't installed them maybe i'll install it and when we do it will start working we'll install the lights somewhere around there second switch right here is for the uh, air siren let me play it for you I hope you heard that siren it's very very loud so i have to turn it off <laughs> quickly and then this horn that's all of the functions that we have on this panel and it is all bling bling it looks beautiful and we have three spare switches which we can use later and as i said turn off after use so off and off 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 12 volts off off and everything is off bye bye it's a wrap guys and i'm so proud of this build because it looks pretty awesome i hope you like this video if you did make sure you like share and subscribe and take one more look at this wow this out 
I will let you compare the before and after yourself. This is the before. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. This guy's not slowing down. Yeah, that's confirmed. He's not stopping. Code 3.